What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4. We're running through it. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the content so far. Uh, we, yeah, we just gonna hop right, right back into it. Uh, episode 4. Uh, what's, his, what's his face? Broke his leg, jumped on the train. It was sad, but it happened. It ain't my fault. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, oh, yeah. heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck? Yeah, she wrong? shot my girl, Car Carly. You're not coming with us. I don't she know shot my girl, Carly. You, folks, but I can tell you, as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. Yeah, I'll do it. I shot Doug. Kenny's being too soft. We should go our own way. Katja killed herself. Our crew is falling apart. You and I are stronger alone. I was oh, yeah. giving I... bandit supplies. <laughs> told Clem that we should split up. It's then I told Kenny fault. and he was all sad. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Oh yeah. Shit! Can't wait for you to get this Savannah Clementine. Oh yeah, Clem was talking to somebody on there. And you be sure to he, ch he tried to get Clem to, to leave me. Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Uh-uh. Not today. Let me get comfortable. Let me get comfortable. Telltale games. I'm so, I'm so sad that they went out of business, man. Hopefully, Skybound picks up another one of their projects and continue it. Like I would like to see um, The Wolf Among Us too. I, I know my wife is interested in in like the Game of Thrones one. She wants a season two, but I don't I don't think I don't think it's that good. So four, dude. I just want. I just want to slot in. Low key, if they would have gave me an option to push him off that train, I would have. I. He got Carly killed. Yes, Clemmy, I have it. it? For a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Ah, uh, I ain't asking Kenny nothing. I said Omid needs to rest. Guys, can we stop for one minute? You can rest all you want once we get out on the water. I'm telling you, he can't keep going like this. Come on, I'll help you. What the hell? Uh. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Yeah, Kenny. Someone's up there! It's a ninja. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Shut up, Ben. I, I know what I saw. what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Oh, no. Give me an answer. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. Clem, you gonna learn. What the 
hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Oh, let's go. Get a move on it. Hold me, better crip walk to this destination. <laughs> Everybody, run! run! Stick with me, Clem. Oh my gosh. Kitty! Little too close, don't you think? That one will fall. No, Ben, help her! opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. <laughs> Dang, shut Let's her see up. see if I can find us a way in. Looks like something was buried here. That's <sighs> I, I swear. Do Give me a that chance. Do you think come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I feel safer when we're inside the house. Oh, yeah. Why are you hiding in the bush? Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? No. Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers here. Holy! I hear you. Now, that's all I gotta say out. to you right now. Alright. That's all I gotta say. Watch your back. Just a doghouse. Thirsty enough to drink that yet. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. 
No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the Ooh, hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right, so where's the dog? Probably buried next to this house. Looks like something was buried here. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Do we have a shovel? There we go. The shovel is never not useful. I mean, you saw what Chuck was on with a shovel back there. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Hmm. Stay away Nothing. from me, Clem. Clem, go over and sit with Chris and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? This is for your own good, Clem. Oh, God, the smell. Shut up, Ben. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Mm. See if this works. Yes. Yep. God damn. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay. Let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Boy, I'm just saying, Clem in there. Here, let me try. No. I think I can. There, there you go, Clem. Clem, are you okay? Say something. See how fast she crawled in there? Ta da! <sighs> Good job, Clem. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. Shut up, Ben. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Huh. <sighs> Nice house. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? 
Hmm. Well? Girl, shut up. I was up. gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Yeah, Chris. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Mm. You know, I need to go find sure Chuck. Chuck okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Get out of here. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Clem, it's okay. I know you want to help out. All empty. Nothing. Water's off. No power. Of course. It's a dog food. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. All right, let's see. let's go. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Oh, I was just checking the door. Must have stopped working a while ago. Yoink. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Come on, Lee. You, you deserve a drink. Nothing hiding in here. Not exactly my style. Hmm. The family of the house. Who in here? Closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. How you doing, Clemmy? Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Let's go. Jesus! Hmm. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, 
nothing. Hmm. Well, the place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. So Stay something here. else you're scared to do. I swear. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. It's a little boy. Before. Can't do it now. Before you, you need this. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You need to pick up the slack. Come on, Kenny. this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. It's okay. I'll take care of it. This must have been where he slept. I swear, Kenny. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Should bury him. I'll take care of it. I'm 
Oh. So sad. If you come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? Somebody out here. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. You are late. I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Shut up, Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only hmm. checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house! Yeah, Ben, shut up. I just have a hate a hatred for Ben right now that whenever he says something... We can do both. <sighs> ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait! Can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. You know what? We will. But right now, we all need to focus on finding a boat. But what about what you promised? 
You said it was going to be just you and me. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah. <sighs> no offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed right? to not take offense to that? Put him on notice. What am I, a liability? Yes. <laughs> the way like... Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Put him on notice. Oh my gosh. Let's sit on the... Boy! You haven't even earned the right to sit on the bench. Should have been on the ground laying outside a train. You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Huh? What in the hell is going on? Somebody's controlling them. Hmm. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> Keep that same energy, Kenny. You've been sad all episode. Keep that same energy. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Shut Squeeze up. You. I ain't giving up that easy. Let him, let him go. This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what, if I ever need an expert opinion on American history, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? Mm-hmm. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. 
I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I see. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Dang. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Do something like this. Mm. Man, I can shoot him. Nah. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. What we got in here? Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Um, right here. I knew keeping this around was gonna come in handy. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Holes crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Yeah, I saw it's old news. What the hell is that? Your fate worse than death. No sign of any boats down there. Let's see. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. What the hell? What's that? Spider Man? Get down. Get down. Street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like hey, I'm, I'm with it. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, taken by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Hmm. Oh yeah, creeping on him.
Clem? Oh my gosh. You're not from Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Lee knocked some sense into her. Oh my gosh. Kenny, don't! Oh my. No, he's with us! How are you people? Second time Kenny done got dropped in this season. Kenny, back off. Unless you want this lady to give you another ass. <laughs> Who are you calling lady? Her name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? I asked for a reason, lady. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it. Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam <laughs> straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> you just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Clem, what yeah, the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Mead started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Mm. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? She's the member. Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true.
Yeah, I'm looking at you, Clem. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Yeah, I need to get Clem back to the house. Just want to get her back home. We're not going anywhere until I find us a goddamn boat. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Oh. Great. Just great. Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a dude, she gone. gonna let her go hey you can't just leave us here hey you're really? going too fast watch no please please don't leave us come on make it fast Second time came in, let me fall. Come on, Lee, get your ass out of there. Can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Come on. Come on. to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. Shit. Feel solid. No way I can pry that open. It's a drainage pipe.
Let's see, can I take exit? There we go. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. Can you see me? Hold on, let's, let's see if I can go the other way. Actually, let's, uh, turn that off. All right, so he's going back now. I think. Oh my God. Let's try to do this real quick. Chuck. Dang, Chuck. Oh, no, 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 oh, dang it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Let 
It's just a sign. about this ninja warrior stuff. No, Lee, get... Shit, it broke off. Supplies for days. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Hmm. Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us. And, and I'm the one holding the gun, so I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? <coughs> Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't Shit. trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him Slap in the head? Vernon. Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry. <gasps> can't take the risk. Sorry, what? Are you threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back! Or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. <laughs> you ain't got the look. That means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh God. Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me, who the hell are you? <laughs> you say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have he to point the gun at me. Forward. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. Woo we are from Crawford. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old. So, you're sick? My friend here asked you a question. Ooh. We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group. Oh my gosh. We meet at the hospital here. Now we're in remission. We is not playing no games. Profit. They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. That's not it's important not right now. What's important to me is that I get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a <coughs> maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. <coughs> Besides, why should we help you? <sighs> oh, man. 
Do I want? Do I just want to go all the way like savage right now? Hey, yeah. I've already come this far. Unless is uh, anyone in your group sick? Or they didn't let me hit it. <sighs> yeah, got a man hurt pretty bad. You're not seriously considering going with him? I took an oath, Marie. <clears throat> Turn, don't do this, please. We need you. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Oh, I need some water. <sighs> Morgan Freeman. What's going on? Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. For what? I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Is that the wounded man you told me about? Yeah. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have okay. more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Oh, man. All right, yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy, hit that subscribe and like button for more videos just like this one. And until next time, I am out of here. Peace.